in the sense that this plane will literally never make any appreciable noise. Figuratively speaking, however, it's already a big noise in aeronautical circles, for it marks today's attempt to master the age-old endeavor of putting a man-powered flying machine into the air. The flying bicycle, as it is affectionately called, is the baby of some of Southampton University students. They built it to win 5,000 pounds offered to the designers of the first completely man-powered plane to fly a measured mile. They built it with hope in their hearts, for the spirit of the old-time pioneers has infected these young people who now wait to discover the result of months of hard work. Gliding instructor Derek Piggott is helping the students. He will, besides operating the various controls, have to pedal sufficiently to produce a takeoff speed requiring two horsepower and sustain half a horsepower throughout the flight. No easy task when you consider that although the plane is made of nylon and spruce, it has a wingspan of 80 feet and weighs somewhere in the region of 100 pounds. <laughs> Now comes the nail-biting part. Piggott pedals frantically and slowly the flying bicycle lurches into the air. Only a few feet up, but they mean the top of the world. 